notice that it is very difficult for a believer to forgive you than somebody out there. There are a lot of people that are outside there who are who can easily forgive than Christians. A lot of Christians carry the spirit of unforgiveness. And most of the times we comfort ourselves by saying, no, I don't have anything against that person. It's a lie. You may not have anything against that person as you claim it, but your behavior will show that you have something against that person. And many times, it's also unfortunate that a lot of Christians will say, I'm hearing the voice of God saying this, but you're not hearing the voice of God. You're not, so you're not hearing the spirit of God telling you to forgive, but you're hearing the voice of God telling you something. See, this work of Christ, even, even the Bible says, God said, forgive so that I may forgive you. Meaning that there is no any other sin that God will hold you accountable than forgiveness and forgiveness. And forgiveness is a sin. If you do not forgive your neighbor, you do not forgive people that have wronged you, it is a sin. Am I saying you have to be uh, closer to them? No. But your action, uh, an action speaks louder than words. And the problem with many believers is that, for example, I have a, a, I have three friends. Okay, we are three friends. And we three friends, there is me, Grace, and there is he, Rachel, in our friendship. There is a friendship. And me, I, I'm in bad terms with it, Grace. Because we are three friends, I will influence, I will influence, uh, I will influence uh, uh, Josephine. Who did I say? Rachel. I will influence Rachel to hate Grace. I will speak bad, bad, bad things about it, about it, Grace to Rachel, so that Rachel should find it in her heart to also hate Grace. And this I'm not saying for people are outside. I'm saying from in church, in the body of Christ, in Christian gathering environment. This is how we behave. And you find that Rachel, they don't have a problem with Grace. But the problem is that because I have influenced Rachel to, to I have influenced Rachel and said bad things so that Rachel should start giving a distance to grace and forgiveness. And forgiveness causes other people to speak bad things about others. And when you come in the in, in a place in uh, in the presence of when for example Grace comes in the presence of Rachel, even if he has a problem with me, Rachel will not want to talk to Grace. And forgiveness makes people gossip. And forgiveness, a lot of believers carry unforgiveness. And you know what? And forg uh, uh, forgiveness, not unforgiveness, uh, forgiveness, when you decide to forgive, you can say that I do not have anything against that person. Oh, yes, you can say that. But Action speaks louder than words. Action speaks louder than words. You cannot, you may feel you do not have anything against that person. But my question is that, do you speak to that person? Do you talk about to that person? I'm not saying we have, uh, uh, you and the, me and you are supposed to be friends. No, we don't have to be friends. But how is your behavior? When you meet that person that you feel she or he injured you. Many believers carry unforgiveness. I said it, it is so unfortunate that somebody can hear what can hear what to uh, can hear something about a person, but they can't hear the Holy Spirit, they can't hear the Holy Spirit telling them to forgive. It's very sad. It is really, really sad. And the Bible says we are the light of the world. What light are we taking out there when unforgiveness is full in our hearts? Christians, believers, hmm. as students of God, eh, when you claim that you're a child of God, it's not just say, I'm a child of God. Are you Christ-like? Jesus forgave. Even Peter that denied Jesus, Jesus forgave. In fact, the mercy of God, it even made the same Peter who denied Jesus to be the church. 
If Jesus was in our time and you'd be like some of us Christians, he would have said, no, Peter denied me. I can never, I can never make Peter the church. Never. But you see what? Our Jesus is a forgiving father. What did he do? He made the same person that denied him to be the church. And one thing that we have to understand is that forgiveness is not about you asking for forgiveness. When you want to, when you are seeking for forgiveness, it's not about you having a clear heart to that person. That person, does he or she have a clear heart about you? I remember one time I had a misunderstanding with somebody, with someone. And, uh, and I knew this person, I knew there was a, a mute conflict between me and the person years passed years went on so like i sat down and started thinking putting things together here and there what was the problem here and there i and there, here and here and when i sat down i thought about it i discovered that that person was having grudges against me based on what the person had and me i ignored as like whatever that they hear let them hear and that person was having grudges because of what he was told about me. So me and him, we had conflict. <laughs> I, mind your own business, I mind my own business. We all love God. We don't care whatever that happens. I love God. We don't say it's okay. We both love God. But one time I sat down and started thinking that this person, I discovered that this person was having differences because of what he thought I was talking about him based on another Christian, how we taught the person. And me, I was like, I don't care. You know, even me, I don't care. I have a clear mind. Forgiveness is not about you. It's about also freeing the person. So I approached this person. I was like, I, I approached this person and I said, after, after years, I approached this person. I was like, I know we have we have had new immute conflict between you and me whether you refuse it or not we have had it and the person agreed then i said if there's anything that i did to you i am sorry forgive me forgive me to my surprise i heard the person said i even wanted to call you too but i was scared of what you're going to tell me so you see i took the board i had nothing against the person honest i didn't have anything against the person but i knew that that person had got something against me and him he was failing to approach me to call me and say i am sorry but me i took the bold step and called he was even surprised that if waited for how like we have stayed for a long time you have never called me like he was happy then i said no i'm sorry for what happened all those things and him i was like i was trying to call you but i was afraid so me taking the bold step of calling him it was also to free him Myself, I was free. Eh? I didn't have anything against. I, I'm telling you, I didn't have against me. I just wanted to stay my stay, and him stays his stay. Uh, don't step on me. But later, I realized that whatever that was going on between me and him, it was not his fault, and it was not my fault. It was an act, it, somebody who activated the conflict between me and him. And this was a believer. So many times, many Christians are carrying unforgiveness. They are carrying the spirit of unforgiveness. Ask yourself, you hear the word of God. You study the word of God. Ask yourself, the Holy Spirit is able to tell you. Oh, let me tell you something again. Okay, the Holy Spirit is able to tell you about something. Why is he not telling you about you forgiving? Is everything fine? Like, you are holding unforgiveness and you can to talk to people being the light of the world. What are you talking about? What are you preaching? Because the first thing that Jesus did was to, he came on earth so that he can forgive us. So that every man can have access to, to this, to our Jesus, to our God. We can have access back to our God. So, that was the many thing. So that everyone, before anything, forgiveness comes first. So why should you hold a grudge and you have got, you can go there and tell somebody about Christ. What are you even saying? What are you saying? We need to practice what we preach. A lot of Christians carry bitterness in their hearts. A lot. 
You are passing in, in your in, in, among your uh, your fellow believers. They're not talking to you. They're giving attitude. What did I do to you? Who did what? Why can't we be brothers and sisters? Why can't we love each other? If you see there's something wrong, don't use attitude. Just come. Let's talk. So as children of God, come talk to your sister. Talk to your, to your brother. I know it's not everyone that can accept your forgiveness, but at least clear it. Clear it. Even you who is a Christian who does not want to forgive, forgive now. So that your father in heaven can forgive you. We need to learn to carry the spirit of forgiveness. The, you know, one thing, one, one thing what uh, unforgiveness does, it brings gossip, it brings slander. There are some things that you talk about the person that you used to praise. It's wrong. We need to make things right. And stop playing church, church, Christian, Christian. No, 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 no. We are children of God. Go back, make things right. If you see that this person is holding something against you, approach them, talk to them. Let them say, yes, you injured me. Make things right. That is how we're supposed to be as children of God. Forgiveness, asking for forgiveness is not because you have anything against it. It's because you want to free your fellow sister who's holding something in your heart that do not have the courage to say sorry to you because they are ashamed. It's it's just so unfortunate, man. It's just so unfortunate. They find this one is fighting, this one, this one is fighting, this one, unforgiveness, gossip, slander. And let me tell you one thing: when you carry for unforgiveness, if you you are a preacher, if you are an apostle, if you are a prophet, when you carry unforgiveness, it will be ve you will not be able to deliver the word the way it's supposed to deliver. Even if God is telling you something about that person, and you. You are going to filter. Actually, you not even hear the clear thing about that person. You are going to to speak to to speak based on the situation. So even your word, it will not come out as proper. It will be contaminated with what you have been thinking or what you have been, you think about the person. That's why you find that somebody can be in church preaching. They'll bring a certain story inside so to make another person feel guilt and send pass a message. You know. That's why, like you are preaching, eh? you, you are passing the message in direct. You are passing a message in direct. You are praying for a sister. Uh, uh, you start seeing, you start seeing that this person wants to want to shout at you. I don't know if I can put it like that. This person, maybe you are start seeing that this person is gossiping about you. And you, voices will begin to come to you. Oh, this person has been gossiping. And now when you come to, instead of you speaking what is supposed to be you, it becomes diluted or contaminated by what by your thoughts and not by the spirit of god so unforgiveness eh, it won't even allow you to deliver the message that you are supposed to deliver you deliver based on your conscience because you are meditating something about the person learn to forgive have a genuine heart of forgiveness let's have a heart of forgiveness we need forgiveness let's preach what we practice Believers, let's preach what we practice and so that our Father in heaven can forgive us. As long as that we are holding grudges, it will be very hard for us to penetrate and become the sort of the world and the example to the world. Jesus said, he, he came, Jesus came to be an example in everything, in forgiveness, in love, in everything. So you cannot tell me that you love God and you carry unforgiveness and you activate people to hate someone. It's wrong. It's very wrong. So I just want to encourage somebody, please forgive. Forgive. If you see somebody hate, you see somebody that has grudges over you, approach them, talk to them. Maybe others, they don't have the comfort to come and tell you what you did. And sometimes it's not that every time when somebody walks away out of your life, it's based on what they did. Sometimes it's what you did. Ask them, what did, you, what did I do to you? What exactly did I do to you? Let them tell you what you did to them. And like, no, when somebody goes, let them go. No, ask what you did, not always of what they did. Because you may be the cause without knowing. Okay? So this is what I just wanted to tell you. Please forgive so that your father in heaven can forgive you okay god bless you